To make sea mines, we need an ammunition factory, and it doesn't matter which upgrade it has, because it is a base recipe. So if we come to the ammunition factory over here, and we press E to open its menu, in the production panel, we can see that the third option or the third recipe is sea mines, and that will cost us two heavy explosive materials, three construction materials, and one minute and 30 seconds of production time at four megawatts of power to produce one sea mine. Heavy explosive materials are made in the refinery by changing sulfur into heavy explosive materials and construction materials are made in a materials factory by changing a salvage into construction materials. Or if you have a smelter, salvage and coke into construction materials. If we have both heavy explosive materials and construction materials in the stockpile of our ammunition factory, and we have, we can turn on the recipe and that will start producing sea mines. To turn off the production, we simply click the button behind the sea mine recipe and that will stop the production. And in the stockpile, we can see that we have a two sea mines. So to transport to sea mines, we can take them out. So if we do that on foot, we can see that we are assembling. And when we are done assembling the sea mine, we can see that we are carrying it because it is a large item, which we can see if we walk around. Now, another way to get it out of the ammunition factory is with a, a small gauge train with flatbed carts, drive up to the ammunition factory and we press E to open it up and if we go to the bottom left where our small gauge train is we go to the inventory of one of the flatbed cards we come to the stockpile and shift click and that will start assembling three sea mines or in this case a two onto the flatbed card if we now escape out we can see that on the flatbed card are two sea mines when we have a multiple sea mines, we can place them on a pallet. We can make a pallet on a small assembly station for uh, 25 basic materials or in the construction yard. We grab a pallet and we place it near the two flatbed carts with the mines on top of them. We hop out of the crane and we come to the pallet over here. I can press E to unpackage the pallet. If I come to the flatbed cart over here, I press Q to hop onto it. I can uh, left click and that will submit to see mines into the nearby pallet. Now, to make sure that we don't submit these into the assembly station over here, we're going to back the train up a bit and make sure that our other flatbed cart is at roughly the same spot. There we go. We press Q to hop out of the locomotive, hop onto the flatbed cart and a left click. And now that we left click, we can see that there's two mines left and that is because a pallet at maximum holds 60 sea mines. Now to transport the sea mines, we can go into the actions panel of the pallet, click the package button. That will package up the container. We can then walk up to the crane, press Q to hop in. Uh, right click to aim over the pellets and when we see the connection icon left click to hoist it up and we can put this on the back of a flatbed cart and drive it to where we need it just make sure that the destination also has a crane come to one of the cranes near the dry dock where our battleship is positioned we press q to hop into the train and for instance if we want sea mines we aim at a pallet of sea mines and when we have the pallet of sea mines we will put it on the loading dock of the dry dock press q to hop out of our crane We'll cop to the pallet of sea mines. While we're close, we press V that will start assembling it. And we are now carrying one. As we can see, it's under our arm. We walk up to the ship, we go downstairs and for instance, we go to the ammunition room over here. We press a V and that should have submitted our C mine to the ammunition room over here. If we press E, we can see that indeed in the stockpile of this battleship are C mines. 
to make torpedoes, we need a ammunition factory with a large shell upgrade. So if we come to the ammunition factory over here and we press E to open it up, if we come to the upgrades panel and we hover over the large shell factory, we can see that we will need 175 processed construction materials in order to upgrade it. We can see we have 169 in the stockpile, but we have a whole heap of processed construction materials on our flatbed. So if we come onto the locomotive of the small gauge train by pressing Q, we press E to open the ammunition factory. In the bottom left, we go to our line runner and we right click on our process construction materials and say submit all to stockpile. We can press a Q to hop out of our small gauge locomotive, press E to open the ammunition factory again and click the icon of the large shell factory to start the upgrade. You can see that we are modifying the structure. We can see that the model changed and if we press E to open the ammunition factory, if we scroll down in the production panel, we find the large shell factory recipes. And if we scroll all the way down, we can see that torpedoes are made with four heavy explosive materials and two processed construction materials. This will require six megawatts of power. So to start the production on the torpedoes, we simply uh, left click on the button behind the torpedo recipe. And in the status panel, we can see that we have enough power and that the torpedo recipe is currently uh, being executed. When a torpedo is ready, it will go into the stockpile and to grab one, we can, while we stand next to the ammunition factory, simply a left click that will start assembling. And we can see that we are now carrying a moray torpedo. And if we press escape to escape out, we can see that it is indeed a large item. We can transport torpedoes by hand by uh, simply left clicking on the torpedo in the stockpile of the ammunition factory. And with the uh, torpedo over our shoulder, for instance, we come to the truck over here, we can press V to submit it into the inventory of the truck. Quicker would be to hop into the truck, press E to open the ammunition factory and shift click. That will assemble three torpedoes at once into the inventory of the truck. Another option for mass transport of torpedoes is to use a small gauge train and a material pallet and a flatbed. So if we hop into the locomotive, press E to open the ammunition factory. In the bottom left, we select our line runner. And if we come to the stockpile and we shift click, that will assemble three torpedoes onto the line runner. We pull all the torpedoes that we have out. They are now on the flatbed cart. If we drive up a little bit until we reach the material pallet, until it says in the bottom left, press E to use material pallet. We open up in the bottom left the line runner. We right click on the torpedoes and say submit all to stockpile material pallet. And that will instantly bring all the torpedoes that were in the line runner into the stockpile of the material pallet. To bring the torpedoes to where we want them, we come to the material pallet, press E to open it up, go to the actions panel and click the package button. With the material pallet packaged, we come to this crane over here. We make sure that we have power, press Q to hop in, right click to aim, left click to hoist up the material pallet, aim at the back of the flatbed truck and a left click to drop the material pallet. We Press Q to hop out of the crane, come to our flatbed truck, press Q to hop into the driver's seat and we can drive off. Currently, the only way to reload torpedoes into your submarine is to grab a torpedo, for instance, from this trailer by pressing V, coming up the gangway and we walk into the hatch, which will drop us down into the crew quarters. The only downside is this will do a tiny bit of damage to your character. To submit it to the uh, torpedo room, we can simply press V. And if we press E to open the torpedo room, we can see that we have now two torpedoes in. To be able to make depth charges for your destroyer, you need an ammunition factory with a large shell factory upgrade. So if we come to this ammunition factory over here and we press E to open up its menu, on the right side in the upgrade panel, we can see that upgrading your ammunition factory to a large shell factory will cost you 175 construction materials. Now this ammunition factory already has the a large shell factory upgrade. So if we scroll down in the production panel, we can see that the last option in the large shell factory is the adept charge or the model seven EV. This will cost us a two heavy explosive materials and two construction materials. Now, heavy explosive materials can be made in the refinery and construction materials can be made in the materials factory. 
we also need four megawatts of power in order to produce depth charges. To produce them, we simply uh, left click on the bottom behind the recipe and that will start making depth charges. We can see in the stockpile of the ammunition factory that there are depth charges. So to grab a depth charge, we simply uh, left click on it. That will start assembling it. When the depth charge is assembled, we can see that we are carrying it over our shoulder and we can, for instance, bring it to our truck, come close to our truck and press a V to submit it to our truck. So if we press E to open our truck, we can see that there is a one depth charge inside our truck. So if we come to the uh, truck over here, we press E to open it up and we grab a depth charge. The depth charge is a large item, so that goes over the shoulder. With those, we uh, walk into the ship and we come below down deck when we are below deck we are in the ammo room and if we press e to open the inventory so to submit the depth charge we can come to the actions panel and click the submit a large item button or when we stand here with the depth charge over our shoulder we can simply press v and we can see that it has been submitted sea shelves sea shells on the seashore the shells sea shelves are sea shells i'm sure for if she shelves sea shells on the seashore then i'm sure she shelves the seashore then I'm sure she shelves. Then I'm sure. Then I'm sure she shelves. Then I'm sure she shelves seashore shells. Then I'm sure she shelves seashore shells.